Hello again, another unbagging of a game. This one a bit different from the uh, decision game uh, mini game systems. This is by uh, Tiny Battle. And this is a battle that never actually took place. It's a, a what if. And um, it was a, a ri originally a book written in 1871 uh, by a British author and uh, who was concerned about that the British Army and Navy was spread all across the Empire and there was nobody at home to defend the country should it be attacked. And so he wrote uh, probably one of the very first, um, you know, invasion novels, you know, the, the Tom Clancy's of the world, he was probably one of the first to do it. So it, he did uh, wrote a book about this foreign force which he called German speaking. And he called them Germans. German speaking, which kind of narrows it down a bit, doesn't it, you know? But the, the designer of this game, he's gone for 1875, which is four years later, and he just basically said to German conquest of Britain, he's not mincing no bloody words here. So it comes in a bigger bag. Now, I have punched this one, because I've had this one out before, and I've actually done a bit of playthrough on this, and I can tell you it's good. Um, a few more counters than the, other, the smaller games, which, which you would expect. But enough from our waffling. Let's get uh, let's get it all out of the, out the bag. Right. Let's start with the rule book. Now it's a proper decent rule book. Now I think this is may have been a magazine game in, in originally. I, I'm I'm not 100% sure. But lovely, nice big illustrations. Again, it's a lovely big font, clear, lots of colour and charts, British Order of Battle, German Order of Battle. And when it was done, it was th th this. German speaking force arrived on the southern coast of Britain and Britain had to hastily um, sort out volunteer regiments and the uh, militia and goodness knows what you know the, the baker and the butcher and his dog everybody to try and uh, stop these uh, German speaking invaders reaching London which is which was which was the they, they go. And we've got background and content context here. That starts on page 9. So there's, there's not many rules, is there? Well, not many rules at all. So we've got the regular army, the militia, volunteers, the German army in 1871, the Anglo-German War, first days of the campaign. You can see Dorking's down here and there's London. They've obviously come in from here and moved up. Um, and again, you can see there. I think they're taking this from the book and just recreate it in diagram form what the original book came up with. I'm not sure, that's what it looks like. And then we've got an epilogue, and then tiny battle, based on the genre defining classic of military alternative history. Yeah, it was genre uh, defining. Oh, sorry, J.T. Chesney, 1871. So I'll let you read that. It's not a bit difficult to read in that shadow thing, but I'll leave it there so you can read it for a second or two. You can always pause it. So this should be quite fascinating, actually. Um, I remember reading the book some time ago. So uh, it, it was interesting. Right, let's have a look at the map. This one's a double, double the size of uh, 
what we've been looking at so far. Well, I say it's double the bottom, but half of it is pretty much charts and tables. So they're all on the map. And then when we move up, we can see the rest of the map. So we've got there's docking uh, right in the centre on the road up through to, to London. Some other smaller towns and villages, Westcott, uh, the Woods, the London and Brighton Railway, uh, the South Eastern Railway, Woods up here, Woods over there. So, yeah, a nice map. A river running through there, the River Mead and the Pit Brook. Um, so we've got some, certainly some features and bridges across. I wonder if you have to take the bridges. Uh, I only played a, a small, um, I just did a small battle. I was down here somewhere and uh, I never got to reach bridges or anything. But a nice thick map, thicker than that, than the other map, but still obviously on thick paper. So the map's good. Um, the counters, these are just basically like fired, there's reds and blacks. So if you fire your weapons, um, army counters for the British. The first Surrey militia, the first Middlesex militia. We've got a battery there. The battery field artillery. So that's the British troops and our German speaking, or in this case Germans, they've got their troops as well, and artillery. And we've got some cavalry, Parasi here. So, yeah, a few more counters, not many more. And then these are just some con control mark uh, game markers, tear marker, etc. And that's what you get in the bag. So, something different because it's actually a battle that never occurred, but it was the start of a, of a new genre of um, alternative military history, which, um, as we know, today is very, very, very popular. I mean, I love the uh, alternative history type stuff, uh, as long as it doesn't go too far. You know, I mean, it, it stays within reason. When they start involving uh, spaceships and, um, you know, aliens, and then, uh, yeah, okay. But uh, you, you Tom Clancy type things, um, that, that, that type of stuff I love. I wake up like that. So, that's the, uh, that's Dorking, the German conquest of Britain. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll speak to you on the next one. Bye for now.